Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets and welcome back to another Friday Fixes episode where you ask me okay questions and I do my best to answer them for you. Now before I get started, my son is on me right now. He really does like to be worn. So a lot of these Friday Fixes will be with him laying on me and I want to apologize in advance but you just get to see a cute little baby in the background and I hope you don't mind. Now up to this point, let's just assume that you've been doing this as a hobby or you've been doing this for friends and family and you want to start go ahead and expand your horizons and get actual customers now how do you go about doing that if you have a storefront that's extremely easy to do all you have to do is be there and people will drive by and they will see you and most likely they'll come in and they will start um, ordering or they come in for like a little um, snack like a, a, a dessert and then they actually want to start ordering their wedding cakes and whatnot now that is not possible for you because if you are doing this out of your home and nobody's actually driving by your house and assuming that hmm, I wonder if a baker lives there right so these are a few things that I think you should start doing and this is how I actually started out and it has been proven to work for me so hopefully it will be the same for you. What's up Papa? Hmm? What's up? Are you hungry? We're hungry? Okay we're hungry. Now what I noticed is that in the beginning it is going to be extremely slow. Business is not going to be booming. You're not going to be making four or five cakes a week um, and even after you start being really seasoned in the business there are um, cake seasons like there's wedding seasons, first communion, graduation, um, when else? Like around the holidays you'll get a lot of orders and then in between you really don't have much to do. So what I suggest is that you definitely pick up a few cake um, drums like those um, not cake drums I'm sorry cake dummies um, if you look in the description box below I will link a few that I actually really like um, on the in there and then you can make your practice cakes. Once. now the first thing that you need to do is to pick a name and that has to be something that is super easy to remember super catchy and something that someone has not done before now way back when when I started Janie sweets that is all my my uh, YouTube name but also my business name I um, picked the name out of nowhere my nickname is Janie and sweets just because I make sweets so I said Janie sweets now I did not realize that um, Janie sweets .com was already taken and there was actually an actual bakery called Janie sweets in Texas um, so I am on Facebook as, as Janie sweets but there is also somebody else called Janie sweets on Facebook so um, definitely make sure that the name that you pick is not already taken um, because otherwise you risk getting you know like people think that this is you and then they go on the other person's site so um, it's just gonna be a big mess so definitely make sure the name you chose is not picked and then once you've picked the name make sure you grab it on every single social media account now that's my second point you need to be on social media if you do not have a storefront the importance of you being out there and being reachable is so much more crucial. Even the biggest businesses are on Facebook, are on Instagram, so you can only imagine how much more important it is for you to be on these um, sites. So Instagram and Facebook, at least you need to be on there. If not, also Pinterest and um, Twitter. I don't really think Twitter, um, not for the kind of business that we do, cake business, but definitely Pinterest, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook you need to be on there now the other big thing that I want to say is a website um, but I'm gonna talk in depth more about websites how to build them what do you have to include in them and show you an example of how mine is in the next um, Friday fixes episode so I'm not gonna go into too much detail here but you definitely also want to have a website because you want to have a presence everywhere because you want to be seen because that is the most crucial thing if you're not out there if people don't know you're out there they're not gonna come to you now once you have your social media account and you've claimed your name on there you need to start posting now consistency in posting is so key um, 
for some reason Facebook and Instagram as well as YouTube they um, prioritize people users that post consistently so even if you're only gonna post one picture a month make sure that at least you're posting once a month that you're not gonna go one month posting five pictures and then the next month you don't post anything at all and then the following month you only post one picture spread it out in um, increments now in order to post on social media you definitely need to have nice good quality pictures and I'm also in another video going to talk about how I take my pictures for my website and for my social media if you're interested in finding out you need good quality pictures I cannot stress this enough make sure off the top of my head make sure there's good lighting make sure you know there's no clutter don't take a picture you know in like like on your kitchen counter where there's like a whole bunch of mess and then post it you want really really nice good clean quality photos and again like I said I will make a separate video showing you exactly how to take those professional looking pictures um, so that your work stands out now while we're on the topic of your work standing out make sure that your work really does actually stand out make sure your board is clean nice and beautiful covering your cake boards is so important it is something that is crucial it takes two seconds to do but a lot of newbies don't do it because I don't know maybe they don't know that they have to maybe they don't know that it will actually set them apart from the competition um, but covering your board is definitely something that that is so crucial to do and not only does it not cost a lot does it not take too much time it really really does elevate your cakes to another level on that note you also have to refine your skills what I mean by that is make sure that your edges are clean make sure that you really really know how to fondant and ice a cake smooth because that is the look that people are looking for don't come on Instagram or on Pinterest with round edges because that's not the look that people want now unless you are actually trying to do something out of the ordinary and you're really actually trying to make it a look and a style if your work is not cut and clean and super nice you are not going to get really far um, in advertising your product now as far as advertising goes I want to say that word of mouth is the best way to go especially when you don't have a storefront this is how I got started absolutely it is a 100 full percent foolproof method because if somebody is referring you to someone they already have praised your work or that person has seen your work and really 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 liked now, it as far as like leaving business cards on the table that is something that a lot of people have suggested that I do when I started out I personally don't do that I don't like it I'm trying to think if I were a customer would I want somebody's ugly business card on my beautiful table I probably wouldn't no offense to anybody who does that um, if it works for you that's great but to me it's a little too aggressive what I do is I give the host about five business cards don't give more like they're just gonna get thrown away in the trash give the host about five business cards if somebody is interested they will contact the host and the host will know how she contacted you but they also have the business card to give them if they don't want to talk about it right now they can just say hey here you go this is the person that um that I um, got to make the cake um, another thing is to make sure you tell the host make sure to tag me on your social media nine times out of ten they're gonna take a picture of the cake or the table that you've created or the sweets that you've created and they're going to post it on social media so ask them to please tag you because you know it would really help you out um, you know to advertise your product if they tagged you or don't say it like that what you tell them is I would love to see how the final table turned out if they're doing a dessert table and you've only made the cake so you tell them I would love to see how the final table turned out can you please tag me lies all you want is your name out there when somebody sees that cake on social media but um, yeah so definitely try to um, have the host give out your card and also tag you on their social media now the biggest tip that I have for you honestly is to advertise where you go so at church at school your children's school their teachers um, you know at work oh my gosh work is perfect any single holiday that you can think of or for no reason that all big cupcakes and bring them to work nine times out of ten they're gonna love your cakes like cake is cake who doesn't like it and then you can 
tell them, oh yeah, I bake. Um, and show them your Instagram or, you know, the pretty case that you do. And then they're going to ask you, you know, oh, actually my son's turning five. I would love a Paw Patrol cake. Do you do these kinds of cakes? And then you tell them, why? Well, yes, I do. Here's my contact information. Hit me up and I will get back to you. Now, one point that somebody made on one of my videos is that you need to start with a low price so for example what she or he was trying to say was if your competition is charging five dollars for a product charge three dollars so that you can grab their customers and then once you have their customers then you raise your price to five dollars that might work to people but i really honestly i cannot with good conscience do that a because i don't want to undercut my competition i don't want to get your customers because i am the cheap cake baker right believe me people want cheap products if you're cheaper they're going to come to you the minute you raise your price guess what they're going to go elsewhere because somebody's always going to try to make it cheaper than you right and then once you've been doing this for a couple of years you're going to say you know what like i don't want to make the two dollars an hour off of this cake i want to actually make a wage and you're going to lose so many people so it's not worth it not only have you cheated your competition of their hard-earned customers You've also cheated yourself because you did not make enough money off of that cake anyway. And guess what? Once you make something cheap for somebody, they will never forget how much you made it for them. You Once they get a taste of cheap, they never want to go back. And believe me, they're only coming to you because you're cheap, not because of how good your cake tastes. Nine times out of 10, you won't find these people. Maybe one customer will be loyal and will keep coming to you no matter how much you charge, but most of them will not. So it's not even worth it to undercut your competition. The next thing I want to touch base on is how people need to contact you to um, place orders. Now it's perfectly fine to start out with taking orders off of Facebook, but another way that I like to take orders is through my website and I think it's cleaner, it's nicer. Next um, Friday Fixes, like I said, I will go into depth on how to do that, but you definitely want to make sure that you have a clear way for people to order from you either they're going to um, contact you from your phone number so on your social media you need to have your phone number if this is how you want them to reach you or your email address um or you need to have i don't know your address well, i don't think you would put your address on there but you see what i'm trying to say have a way for them to contact you for me it's through my website i don't take any orders anywhere else but on my website and it's extremely easy to do i put the exact link the person just clicks on it and they can get to the website and they exact page of where they can order um, their cakes so definitely have a way uh, or set up a way that people can contact you and order cakes from you so this is it you guys these are the tips and tricks that I have for you there are definitely other ways that you can go about you know growing your business online and without having a storefront but these are the things that I personally did and it worked for me um, so I really hope that you guys will find these helpful and you will implement these and they will work for you definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it good luck on your cake journey please let me know if there's anything else you would like for me to touch base on in a Friday fixes like I said next week next week will be all about cake websites and I will walk you through how I made mine and what's in mine etc etc so um yeah like I said give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe because lots more videos are coming your way that is it for this week's tutorial guys I love you I'll talk to you next time